So let us try to understand how to find out beam reactions in case of simply supported beam carrying uniformly distributed load as well as point load. As shown over here from the right hand side support we are having the point load of 2 kN which is acting on the beam and throughout the beam there is a uniformly distributed load of 1.5 kN per meter that is acting. So this is the point load of 2 kN. These are the reactions at the support and along with this it is having the uniformly distributed load of 1.5 kN per meter. The distance of this point load from the right hand support that is given is 2 meter and the total span length that is given is 6 meter. So for this arrangement we have to find out what is the what are the beam reactions which are there suppose this is A and this is B these are the reactions are A and reactions are B and this is the point C suppose then we'll apply the conditions of equilibrium over here so summation of forces in y direction is equal to zero upward force will consider upward forces will consider them as positive whereas downward forces will consider them as negative now as shown over here the reactions they are acting in the upward direction so ra plus rb they are acting in the upward direction minus the point load of 2 kN minus now this uniformly distributed load of 1.5 is acting over the entire span length of 6 meter so it is 1.5 into 6 and that is equal to 0 so therefore ra plus rb will be equal to now transfer this both these negative terms on the other side so it is 2 plus 1.5 into 6 so therefore ra plus rb in this particular case will be equal to 2 plus 1.5 multiplied by 6 so that total value will be 11 now call this as equation 1 now we'll take summation of moments is equal to 0 we'll apply the another condition of equilibrium suppose clockwise moments we consider them as positive and anti-clockwise moments we consider them as negative now we'll take moment about point A so taking moments about point A suppose now we'll start with this RB this RB will produce anti-clockwise moment about A and anti-clockwise moments we have considered them as negative so it is minus RB and the perpendicular distance from B to A is 6 plus this 20 kN this 2 kN point load correct, will produce the clockwise moment so plus 2 and the perpendicular distance from this 2 up to this A will be 4 meter so it is 2 into 4 now this uniformly distributed load the uniformly distributed load is of 1.5 kN per meter and so for 1 meter it is 1.5 but it is acting over 6 meter length so 1.5 into 6 that will be total UDL length and it will be acting at the that will be total UDL load and that will be acting at the center of this 6 meter length so this distance that we are considering this is 3 meter 
so this udl we have converted into point rule so it is 1.5 into 6 that is the total udl and allow it to act at the center of 6 meter length that is 3 meter so this udl it will also produce the udl load that will also produce the clockwise moment so it is 1.5 into 6 that is the total udl load and multiply it by 3 so that will be equal to 0 and therefore we can say that this 2 into 4 plus 1.5 into 6 into 3 that will be equal to rb into 6 so therefore this is 8 plus now we are having this 1.5 into 6 into 3 so that total will be 27 that is equal to 6 rb and therefore 35 will be equal to 6 rb or we can say that 35 divided by 6 is equal to reaction at b so rb will be equal to 35 divided by 6 that is 5.83 kilometer now we can substitute this value in equation 1 and we will get the value of ra from it. so from equation 1 we can say that ra is nothing but equal to it is 11 minus rb so that is equal to 11 minus the value of rb just now we have calculated as 5.833 so it is 11 minus the given particular answer so total will be 5.166 kN so this is our required answer so in this way we can find out the beam reactions in case of simply supported beam